Ooh, nine minutes. <laughs> See, I'm limited to 10. So, boy, I got that internal clock down pat when it comes to that whole 10 minute video thing. So, on with this, what we're going to do is now code something that looks like this. If the physics, and that's what this is, is physics, period raycast. Transform period position. So my character's position is left of the area, which we haven't defined what area is. We need to do that. How far can the actual ray cast go? It needs to do something. And in this case, what I'm going to do is show you how to see a ray cast. It's pretty sweet. You ready? All right, so D bug period draw line transform period position. So this is going to draw a line between transform period position to target period position. which we haven't defined that either. And I'm going to make that line red. Just like that. All right, so let me look at something here. Good, good. Good. Okay, now we need to define what the target really is, and we need to define what area really is. So up at the top, we're going to put a couple statements here. So variable area is an integer, and it's equal to 100. So 100 pixels. And then the variable target is a transform node. And that's that player orient that we looked at earlier. And that's all I think I really need for this. So let's look at this. Yep. All right, so let's take this. We now have uh, something in the scene. We have nothing in the scene because remember, uh, my pre thing crashed on me. So I have the soldier, but soldier's not in there. So I'm gonna throw a soldier back in his box and delete him and insert the cube. Getting rid of the square two or the spear and inserting that pesky cube. And this time I'm saving the scene. So I don't have to keep doing this. And he needed a uh, physics rigid body. And he also needed the fact that he has a material called enemy just to give me, give a wrap around what his intentions are. There we go. So this, the enemy, needs something. I'm going to label him enemy, so I don't have to keep looking for him. And then I'm going to give him this nice, new, fancy, simple raycast. And I do not want to maximize this on play, because I want to show you how this works. Okay, so when I approach this, it's not going to do anything until I get onto the left hand side of it and then you'll see something hopefully if there's no code problems let's see I'm missing an if statement I'm missing a close brackets here uh, 
vector three. Okay, and debug period draw line is not a member of the Unity debug engine. Okay, so in the next video, what I want to show you is that we have to actually script out what debug draw line really is. Uh, so that's in the next video.